How can I transition to a more technical role without sacrificing salary? I've been working in roles between IT and business for around 10 years, the time after graduating. These include project manager, product owner for applications, business analyst and similar roles. I'm normally quite involved in the technical aspects, but I'm not responsible for the development. I'm doing okay, but feel like it's too much organization, communication and change management than I will ever feel happy with. These jobs require you to build consensus, influence people, etc. Whereas most jobs probably do to some extent, that's the very core of being the PM for example. It tires me. I'm not a natural consensus builder or extrovert. I've always been best when I have to figure out things myself and propose, build good solutions. Whereas I've always been playing with coding a bit, e.g. to automate tedious tasks, I've now spent a bit more time on that and I do seem to have the ability to learn coding quickly and to use even the little knowledge I have productively. In the last three years I've managed to add value by automating half of my work, which, however, was an exception from those I listed above, normally I don't have much opportunity to automate tasks. I was also given some technical tasks, like creating automated dashboards, in some jobs and these were the tasks in which I really excelled according to my superiors. Coding is fun for me. I feel much happier sitting and figuring out how to make a program do something than sitting in the endless political meetings and trying to influence a stakeholder to do something. On the other hand, my PM, PO salary is good and I don't see how I could transition from a role that's close to IT, but non-technical to a technical role without sacrificing my standard of life. As a junior developer I would earn about 30% of my current salary. Any ideas how it could work? I'm in Europe. Equals equals equals. Edit. Thank you everybody. What became apparent to me after your comments is that thinking about changing a position into a more technical one doesn't make sense. First I would work technically for a low salary, then, if I'm lucky get promoted to do, almost exactly the same what I've been doing in my current job, getting a very similar salary to my current salary. The example you've given of what a developer does surprised me a bit, because I've already done, been doing all of these things, including, tedious, why is my build intermittently failing, as well as investigating that for other people's code, or, what code style rules should we use, and taking architecture decisions. It seems I've already moved quite far into the, technical, IT without noticing and without ever being a junior developer. I will still want to work on my programming skills, since it gives me more independence and self-confidence while talking to my developers and contractors and, who knows, it may help me to make myself independent in my area of expertise in a few years. On the other hand, my PM, PO salary is good and I don't see how I could transition from a role that's close to IT, but non-technical to a technical role without sacrificing my standard of life. As a junior developer I would earn about 30% of my current salary. Any ideas how it could work? You are looking for someone to take a gamble and overpay you in hope that you will in a short amount of time, I would guess one quarter, grow not just into a junior developer role, but into at the very least a mid-level one. This is a very tall order to ask out of anyone to achieve, as experience needed to field mid-level plus dev jobs cannot be condensed into a three months course. You very much only gain it fighting down in the trenches. As you can guess from that description there will be very few people who will want to roll the dice like this, especially if they have no trouble filling the same position with an experienced developer instead. But there is one person who already knows your value, you already work for them, and assuming that you are doing a good job, will want to keep you. That is your boss, and you should speak with them about your career goals, how you would like to spend more time doing some hands-on coding and so on, and so forth, very much what you've said in your op. It will make it very clear to them that in order to keep you happy they either have to provide with the growth you seek as a developer or deal with the fact that, eventually, you are going to leave them for a place that will give you what you need. In the end, if you are a good to great employee, you should be able to find a suitable employer, who instead of offering you a higher salary will give you growth opportunities. And if you are not that great of an employee, not being able to easily swap jobs is usually a good indication, then maybe you should reconsider your plans. Something for you to figure out, as you are asking for someone to pay for your training, instead of getting someone who can already do the job, and yet you are expecting a similar salary as them. If you cannot code professionally, nothing stops you from doing code in your spare time, be it open source or contracting, and slowly gaining the experience so in a few years you will hopefully be past the junior tier. Even if I then decided not to do that, he would think I'm not happy at the current position, they will see it because, as per your own description you are unhappy with the current position. They may even know already, depends on how close you are and how big the company is.
Coding is fun for me. I feel much happier sitting and figuring out how to make a program do something than sitting in the endless political meetings and trying to influence a stakeholder to do something. To say that devs don't sit on those endless meetings and trying to influence someone higher up the chain is quite naive. It may be to a lesser degree than a usual PM, but it certainly is still a notable part of devs' life, especially as you climb the ranks. I also want to add a bit of side note of what developer job actually entails, as I think you may have the wrong picture due to your limited experience. I've now spent a bit more time on that and I do seem to have the ability to learn coding quickly and to use even the little knowledge I have productively. Words said by every junior developer I've ever met, that is before starting the first job. Right now you have the benefit of picking what you want to work on, and only applying yourself when you feel like it. When you move to become a developer you will have to deal with some of the tasks you would normally pick and can figure out how to fix, but you will also have work you have no clue how to solve thrown at you, and despite that, you will be expected to deliver it on a deadline. You should take some time and do a proper self-assessment is that a job you would still like after having to deal with less than pleasant tasks for extended periods of time, as enjoyable gems are generally not the workload, especially for junior devs, it gets a bit different on senior, principal level. As a PM you know what usual developer goes through the week, grab workload of one of the more junior ones and try to solve all those tickets, make a weekend plus evenings exercise out of it, see how far you will get through, and how much you will enjoy it. I spent two paragraphs explaining it because you are thinking about making a serious career change, and that's not something to do lightly.